Straddler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. So, here I am. It's Wednesday morning. On my way to work. I got three days left. And then I'm done. Feels kind of weird. Not really sure. I know I'm excited, but I'm slightly nervous. Um, but it is what it is. Life's full of change, right? So, uh, update. So the trailer was in a shop for a week. Wasn't supposed to be ready till today, but. Um, I got it back early. I got it back on the weekend. I picked it up Saturday morning. Um, the weekend before that, I didn't have it. It was still in the shop. They were waiting for the axle. And I took the time to put a little uh, TLC into my wheels of this thing. Uh, basically, I'm just running the old stock wheels, steel stock wheels. And the... Uh, paint was like peeling off, they were pitted, they were starting to rust, uh, they were looking pretty gnarly. So I gave them a little update um, that I will show you a little bit of. Um, I think I recorded the whole process but I didn't record the whole ordeal of each wheel because we had to pull two off at a time and um, you know, then I do two and get them back on the truck and do the next two. So. I didn't record the whole day, but I recorded what I did to them so that if anybody wants to learn from... Actually, I don't think I made any mistakes on that. It was just a long day. So if anybody wants to see what I did and pick up some pointers or whatever, th that will be there. We'll probably play that next. As for the trailer, because I was able to get it back early on Saturday, um, I picked up all the parts I needed for my solar install, including panels. They were in the back of this thing for a couple of days. And I put the solar in and on. Um, yeah, that was an interesting process. Um, I'll probably show you uh, some, some footage of um, the solution and what I was dealing with, um, kind of maybe intermix with this or at a later date. But um, essentially, the uh, panels are flat and the roof is not. Um, and there's not a whole lot for any screws to grip onto. Um, and considering the panels come with brackets that have four holes on each corner, like each bracket has four holes to go into the roof. Um, the screws just they didn't have anything to tap onto the the roof is a, more or less a truss like a frame with insulation in the you know in between and nothing more than a sheet of aluminum on top and the interior wood on the bottom in the interior so with nothing to grab onto I just I mean I got it in a couple truss uh, rods like one screw per corner kind of thing it was still pretty bouncy and like my pancake said if you get a you know a crosswind at highway speed who knows what will lift that those panels off so I opted for <laughs> um, I call it the redneck fix um, no offense to actual rednecks but basically you do what you got to do and you get it done so we went to Home Depot and got some bolts um, that still fit through the holes of the bracket and were long enough to go all the way through to the interior of the trailer. Grabbed some big washers and basically drilled a hole through both pieces 
of roof, the top and the bottom. Put the bolt up through the hole into the bracket and the nut on top with a lock nut or a lock washer. Those panels will not go anywhere. If they do go somewhere, they're taking the whole roof of the trailer with them. That's it. And then, of course, with every hole that you put in the roof, regardless of it's all the way through or not, um, I spent a good, what, four hours probably sealing every, attempting to seal everything. Um, I'll show you what I mean later because the, uh, with the waviness of the roof, basically the tin between the trusses dips down because people have walked on the roof to reseal it and stuff. Again, we're talking very old trailer. Um, because all that stuff was done and, and it just basically, you know, bowed all the, all the aluminum in between the trusses. So even when you screw down, your screw might catch a bit, but then there's a big gap between the bracket and the roof anyway. Uh, it's just, yeah, it was crazy. So I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, and then this week after work every day, I've been back in there getting little stuff done little stuff that keeps appearing one little thing getting done just reveals another little thing that needs to be done um, I'm gonna be doing little things even into well probably perpetually put it that way what else is there um, just yeah working on little things got carpet installed which looks nice um, I'm not even sure why I went with a piece of carpet other than too much of that laminate flooring would add too much weight so I just there's a few slots of that and then you know it joins carpet at the kitchen area kind of deal bed whatever <laughs> and what else um, yeah just getting it ready to go because Saturday's the day today's Wednesday three more days of work um, work apparently we're doing a little bowling farewell party because one of the girls is a bowler and I mentioned that I bowl so she happens to be the HR organizer person too so she's putting together this bowling thing um, so that will be hilarious to watch because I haven't bowled since God knows when um, and then Saturday I get up make sure everything is out of my room, clean it up, and be on my way. Which way? I have no idea yet. So, we'll leave it at that. I'm almost at work, and uh, I guess I'll show you what I did with the wheels, and maybe a little of uh, the trailer updates, although I think I'm just compiling a list of all the stuff that I've done to it, which will air at a later date. Um, once I hit the road because I'm not going to have any time to edit another video other than this one before I leave. So with that in mind, I will talk to you all soon. Um, thanks for checking out the beginning of my little channel. Once I hit the road and start seeing some interesting things, this will get a lot better. All right, here I am. So I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hey friends. So today is wheel day. Uh, it's a nice day out. It's not too windy. Um, pretty excellent for March actually. Um, so what I'm doing is, actually I'll show you this side first. So on the old Xterra here, I have these steel wheels. And as you can see, the paint is uh, coming off. They're pitted. Uh, they got a little bit of rust happening, etc., etc. And as you can see, this one's not much better, if not worse. So what I'm doing is today, all four wheels are coming off. I'm doing two at a time here. And we're going to repaint them. So these are the two that, that are off. And at this point, I'm just taking, I've marked here, this is basically the edges of the 
balance weight that was added. If you're not sure what that is, here's one here that I haven't taken off yet. So basically I just mark it here, make sure that I'm gonna be able to see that after. And then I pop this off because I don't wanna paint it. Uh, after that, I have some sandpaper and elbow grease. Because I was going to wire wheel them, but because these are steel wheels, I wasn't sure how much striation I'd put in with a wire wheel. So I'm just gonna give them a bunch of sanding. Probably two, I got some pretty hefty grit sandpaper and then some finer grit. So I'll sand them down, make them, get them as smooth as possible. And then I'll show you how I mask them off to paint them. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. So after I do the sanding of the wheels, get all the uh, rust and other crud off, basically, before you can apply primer and then paint, you need to make sure the wheels are clean. So this is what we're looking at. This has all been sanded down, all by hand. The pit marks, any loose paint's been sanded off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's the other one. So then what I do is I just put some of this. So this is a TSP. It's a pretty heavy duty cleanser, degreaser. Um, anything similar to this would probably work. Careful with this though, it will burn your hands if you leave it on long enough. Um, basically I've just been slopping it on this rag, wiping down, rinsing these off, wiping it down with the TSP rag and then rinsing them off really good. And then I wipe them down with some uh, dry rags out back out in the sun in the back. for those to dry I've got the center caps out now these I went through and I've popped the uh, emblem off here because it just goes through and there's little catches on the inside here so I've popped them off and now uh, most of them are a couple of them are okay but a couple of them were a little rough from the uh, as you can see here um, from the air wrenches hitting the sides they've been chewed up so I've sanded those down and now I'm just gonna they've been cleaned but I'm just gonna wipe them down to get rid of this excess dust here and then I'll give them a quick coat of uh, primer and I'm going to paint them glossy black so I'll do that while these first two wheels are drying because I don't want any water under the paint and we'll go from there. So here, this is how I'm masking off the tires so I can paint the wheels. So these are just your standard index recipe cards from the dollar store. Uh, nothing but uh, thin paper, pretty much, but they're cut. And you just put them in along the edge of the rim like so. Actually, here's a packet, index cards, blah, blah, blah. And then you just put them in along here, overlap them, enough so that see, I might actually move this one in yeah just 
overlap them enough so that the paint's not going to get through. And then I've been taping them up so because it's a little breezy now, so the breeze doesn't blow them out. And once I'm uh, got them all in, then I can uh, start primering. Priming, primering, you know what I mean. So because I'm outside and I'm at the mercy of the weather, the index cards weren't working because of the wind. So the wind would pick them up and pull them out. I found some newspaper here for out of a recycling bin. So we're just gonna mask them off old school for now. So there we are, we're ready for paint. So I thought I'd, so they're all painted up and I'm just taking the paper and the uh, tape off. I thought I'd show you this because I'm kind of rushing a little bit when I'm getting the tape in. Uh, let's see here. So when I'm pulling the tape off, I make sure I pull away from the rim because, because the paint is still pretty soft. It's not necessarily wet, but it's soft. It's not really had time to dry and cure itself. So, I'm just pulling away, because if you pull the other way, you might catch some of your paint, pull it right off and show your primer underneath. So I've managed to not do that on that one. So just a little tip, um, something I kind of noticed, I think, somewhere along the line. Oh, and one other thing, before you start painting, make sure to mask off your valves and your valve cap and that's it so uh i think that's pretty much it i don't know what else to show you or tell you um i'm just going to let these dry a little bit and then we're going to put them back on the truck and so they look like not a dirty truck